I'm sure you should buy this one. Oh, I'm so discombobulated. I'm not in my car. Cars at the shop, we'll talk about that at another time, but this is my purple plum loaner car. Pretty good daily. Not gonna complain about it. Just gonna go grab a coffee, make a quick stop at EMS, and then head on over to CarMax and meet Phil. Gotta stop and get my daily dosage of Gregory's coffee and not function without it. Thank you. Uh, merging out to 17 out of here is always a good time. Ew. Oh man, if only you guys knew that that was actually low key a Delta station. Getting a coating, I guess? This, this is perfect. And I got Nick's daily driver. Look at that color from here. David, David Gray, David Gray. I'm definitely saying it wrong. This bothers me so much. I wish it was just an actual X5M. Got the 50th anniversary drip. This is the loaner car that the dealer gave me. If you refer back to my previous video, notice that the windshield is leaking, or the sunroof drains are clogged, but this isn't that bad of a daily driver. We out from EMS. Time to go meet Phil. I think I was supposed to be there two hours ago. I don't even think they went on a test drive yet. I miss having my tints. That is a downfall to this. Missing my tinted windows. It says it is 92 degrees outside right now. This should be a pretty exhilarating experience. Phil standing outside. Please don't buy a GTI. So far, the experience here at CarMax is that every single car that we look at is on hold. All the good cars are on hold and all the crappy cars are just fully open and ready and available, but anything of actual value, except the S6, except the S6 which will probably be put on hold in 15 minutes, is, is locked out. Things were going just too well. Everything went fine. We test drove an Audi S6, our deal was done. The trade on a Honda Civic that Phil had brought, numbers were good. They gave us a good trade value. We were putting down some cash on top. I think it was $2,000. We added the CarMax warranty on top, which was also good. Everything was good. The monthly price came to a good rating. Credit rating was great. So the percentage on the APR came back good for 60 months we went with. Everything was totally fine. The only problem was that the owner of the Civic currently, the Honda Civic that Phil was trading in, his mom, didn't have the title. So he had to go back home to grab the title. Race home, about 45 minutes each way to go. So after driving 45 minutes there, they drive back 45 minutes. We asked before leaving, is it okay? Can we get this done by tonight? Do you think this is possible? We'll be able to do this. It was 5 p.m. Yeah, no problem. Okay, go home get the title, get back in the car, start driving back about five minutes away. So 40 minutes into the drive back after driving 45 minutes home, probably very fast and tearing the house apart to find the title to the car. CarMax then calls Phil and says, we're not gonna be able to process this transaction today because we're about to close. But yet we had asked and we had specified, yes, we know you close at 7 p.m., but tonight will you be able to stay open? So my guess is somebody stepped in, a manager of some sorts, somebody stepped stepped in and just said, no, screw you. We're not helping you tonight, deal with it. Now here's the messed up part. The key to his Honda Civic is with them. The Honda Civic is parked there. They closed and they will not give the car or key or anything back to Phil. So they're holding his Honda Civic hostage, right? And he has no new car. 
up until then, everything was very fair, very pleasant, everything was really great, but that was a really shady low blow move. Is it on paper technical? It's 7 p.m., that's when they close. But we did hear from two different people, as I was sitting there having a conversation with everybody, that they were going to make it happen tonight. I have a feeling I know exactly who it was that postponed this transaction. Hopefully the manager that came over to say, hey, we're not commission based, so you know we're not gonna do anything weird to you guys. Everybody gets treated the same. Well, you got that damn right. I'm not gonna release this footage until everything's a closed book on it. That's my experience so far. It has not been that great. It's really discouraging. I had made reservations for all of us to go get a celebratory steak, take photos of our cars together down by New York City. Lack of better terms, a really shitty thing to do to get everybody's hopes up. Last minute after driving back home 45 minutes and then back to Wayne, New Jersey to pick up the car 40 minutes into the drive on Route 23, sitting in traffic five minutes out, literally five minutes out. They call and say, we're closing, we're done, it's done, come back on Monday. That was a shitty move. Now, because of all my pain and suffering, I'm getting a pumpkin spice latte to ease the pain. got the text from Jacob that my X3 is done. I'm gonna head up to the dealer and pick it up. Oh, nothing like sitting in school traffic. The text from Jacob that my X3 is done. I'm gonna head up to the dealer and pick it up. Oh, nothing like sitting in school traffic. Another coffee and back in the X3. Right, apparently after a grueling four hours at the dealership, which I'll hear all about with Phil in a minute, apparently meeting him, he got the car. Bonchon. Phil got a real car. 